Hey Moon Magic family, welcome back to the channel and welcome to anyone who is new here. In today's readings, we are asking what good luck and great fortune is this new moon bringing for you? So we are going to draw three cards together. I'm actually seeing these two as well. So that is pile one, two and three. Okay, so we will check out these cards. I will draw some runes and charms as well. So beautiful souls, pile one, blessing of El Hakim. So this is your card. Pile two, we have the all encompassing hand. Okay. And then pile three, we have Victory of Mariam, or Mariam. I'm not sure how you say that. Victory of Mariam. Beautiful, beautiful cards. So let's draw some runes and also some charms. Okay, I had one coming through for reading one. So pile one, you have uh, the rune of the self. This is manas. Pile two. And two runes coming through for pile two. You have partnership and the blank rune. How interesting. Let's see what comes through. How many runes are coming through for pile three? It is three runes. It is three. Here we go. <laughs> we have the rune of breakthrough. This is Degas. We have gateway, Thurizaz. And we have the rune of flow. Okay, fantastic. So one, two, and three as, as they have come to us. And let's draw a charm or charms. Let's just see what we are shown in the way of charms. Okay, one coming through again. Now you have the dolphin pile one. Okay, how interesting. I'm gonna place it just in this circle. <laughs> okay, pile two. There are two, definitely two coming through. Um, amazing. Okay, so we have uh, the tree of life and the butterfly. And pile three. What do we have for pile three? Do you know, I do think it is, oh no, it's four. Okay, I was gonna say, is that three again? Wow, but it is four. Well, still wow. Okay, so beautiful souls. Uh, if pile three is speaking to you or you're drawn to these, we have the owl, we have a little cupid firing the arrow, we have a heart and also the sand dollar charm as well. There we go. Okay, so beautiful souls, take as long as you need. Just check in with your intuition, your gut feelings, see what you're drawn to. If you're uncertain, you can always press the pause button, um, but I will leave the video running just a few moments longer. And if you find you are drawn to more than one, it may be that there is good luck and great fortune coming in more than one area of your world. So if you're drawn to more than one, I, I personally would listen to them both beautiful souls. I will see you in just a moment in the readings. Hey, pile one, welcome to your reading. And we are asking what good luck and great fortune is this new moon bringing to you? Manas, the rune of the self and the dolphin. How very interesting. I felt like it, it just sat on this card looking as if it was leaping out of the water here. Now, the very first thing I am going to do is draw an angel card for you. This is a guardian angel card and these cards come with affirmations and I am going to read you the affirmation as well. 
Okay. Angel of Challenges. This is your first card or your first, your, your second card really, I guess, but your first Oracle card that we have drawn for your reading. Okay, let's get the book out and let me read you um, your affirmation. Angel of Challenges. Here we go. Okay, affirmation. I have all of the strength and determination I need to overcome the challenges I am being presented with at the moment. Okay, so let's put that to one side. Now, my beautiful pile one. I don't usually do this. I don't normally get lots of books out. I wanted to read the affirmation. I am actually going to read you something just to do with this card here, Blessing of Al-Hakim, because it is a blessing. Uh, I will just read it to you. And I don't know how you are feeling, my beautiful souls, but as I sit here in this reading, there is the most incredible sense of peacefulness. It's very interesting. Sometimes when I'm doing a reading, although it's usually personal ones, um, you know, it's really clear when someone is coming through. Um, you know, and sometimes when we do these readings, we connect with ancestors, guides, you know, it's really clear and the temperature drops in the room and these things just happen. Today, right now, this is completely different. It doesn't feel like someone is coming through from the other side in a presence way of that, in that manner. What I feel is this phenomenal, it is blessing. There's like a peace. I feel like there is like like a blanket, you know, like a, I don't know if you have ever walked in, you know, like the twilight time, you know, that beautiful time of the day as the sun, um, as the sun sets and perhaps sometimes the moon is rising. But that time of day, that in between time when we have not yet reached the night and the day is coming to a close and there is this kind of shift in energy and if you have ever walked next to a river at that time, um, often that the it's like you literally see uh, mist coming off the waters, and and that's what I feel. It's like a mist laying down upon us here. So this is you are being gifted with a profound blessing. So let me just I will just read you something. Just one. Here we go. Blessings of El Hakim. This is, I'm just going to read you this one sentence. It says, a blessing of divine wisdom of El Hakim is being ministered to your soul, watched over by Rumi himself. Okay, this is soul medicine. It is a spiritual gift of healing, healing, prophecy, insight, and the capacity to surrender any impatient claim for what you cannot yet have. That bit seems less important, but this is soul medicine and a spiritual gift of healing. Now, what you're reading is, is telling us already here. I, I feel like you are very, very busy and whatever challenges you are facing, whatever demands are being placed upon you, there's a really, really strong request, perhaps is the right word. There is a kind of request for you to just kind of gently, diligently, consistently continue, persevere in a very, quite a humble way, really. It's like getting up and doing your daily tasks for the sake of doing them and doing them as brilliantly as you can, just because you can. That's the kind of energy, really. And reminds me of a card um, from my own pack of cards. Um, it's, it says, you know, it's be brilliant, you know, be your most brilliant self in an everyday way. If you're going to um, hang the washing on the line, then do it to the best of your ability. You know, the, the simple things in life, we can apply ourselves with with love, with doing absolutely everything to the best of our ability, whether it is a simple task or a bigger task, because you are actually being blessed. This is what I'm literally feeling. You know, what good luck and great fortune is the new moon bringing you? You are receiving a blessing. Whatever challenges you are facing, you are receiving a blessing and this, this card alone, these cards together alone, bring a huge message, which is uh, 
if you just just live for the sake of living and trust actually whatever it is that you are desiring wanting it's being brought to you you are being blessed whatever challenges you're facing um, everything you need is being brought to you but it doesn't even feel like everything there is a something it's being brought to you you don't have to force anything or make anything come into being or make anything happen you are being blessed and i i cannot tell you what that feels like as i sit here because i feel like i'm sitting in this pool of energy and when i saw the dolphin i think dolphins come up for air and i feel like there are elements of your world where you feel like you're coming up for air perhaps just you're very busy or you're working very hard to achieve something or maybe you are facing a challenge but actually just immerse yourself in trust you know what you need will be brought to you you literally are you are being blessed and i cannot tell you how extraordinary it is to sit in this energy i don't know uh, what you guys are picking up yourselves here um you know i think i would imagine i mean you are you are very very intuitive you guys so i would imagine you may well literally be feeling this it's an overall warmth from and i'm literally feeling it like it's as if it's coming down from above filtering down through my chakras uh, you know it's it's filtering all the way through my body I, i'm feeling it you know moving down my legs I think it's yeah very nearly at my toes just amazing and how interesting i'm looking out of my window and there is a woodpecker um, on a tree uh, woodpeckers speak of perseverance so yeah let's let's draw more cards for you goodness me that's just um we must always go with where a reading takes us i didn't um have any expectation well we don't have expectations do we but this is not necessarily how we'd normally be doing a reading normally we would be drawing many cards but gosh the energy here it's phenomenal absolutely phenomenal okay so i see this card here for you we have the card of compass yes you are on track you may not feel it you may even be feeling like it will never come to fruition or you'll never get through this whatever this is for you it's a general reading in the uniqueness of your world but the card of compass yes you are on track just continue gently lovingly doing for the sake of doing with love with joy that is all that is all that's needed oh now that is way too many okay i'm going to take the card from the top and the card from the bottom hmm. now we have okay so first oh, look at this anchor to fly this i mean you just what clear messages anchor to fly and the snow shepherdess so first of all let me just tell you that the snow shepherdess is a card that says something that you did not believe was possible is going to become possible this is this is going to happen you know whatever you felt was um, trapped in ice or solid or would never melt or would never emerge it is going to happen in its fullest bigger and better than you could possibly ever have believed my goodness me, we are asking what good luck and great fortune is this new moon bringing to you. Now, I do not know specifically what that is in the uniqueness of your world, but I can tell you that something you really, really desire or working at or any challenge you are currently facing in any area of your life, you are being blessed and the challenges are being removed. All you need to do is anchor to fly the flying will just come the anchor for you is to just do for the sake of doing in the most amazing way you are being blessed your pathway is being blessed it, it is really clear really really clear beautiful souls okay now i think i'm going to need to zoom the camera out bear with me to make a little bit more room because your tarot cards today we are using the uh, inner child fairy tale tarot cards and they're quite big cards so i think i'm going to need to adjust the camera so please bear with me 
Okay, beautiful souls, let's draw some cards for you. May we have cards, please, for pile one. May we know what good luck, great fortune already. I feel just phenomenal energy around your good luck and great fortune. I see this card and also this one for you. Gosh, there's so much peacefulness, warmth, love, pure love. Okay, oh, this is beautiful. So five of wands with the five petaled flower and this is like a, a five pointed star. How very beautiful. We then have, oh my goodness me. So we then have uh, Saint Nicholas, Guide of Crystals, who is of course Father Christmas. And this is, you are being gifted. We have the hair. The hair is a symbol of fertility. Look at all these gifts, all of these gifts. Okay, we'll maybe move those up a little. And then we have the Ace of Swords. How interesting, because this is um, King Arthur as a boy, I believe, you know, drawing the sword Excalibur out of the stone because, and nobody else could do this. You know, this stone was enchanted, this sword was enchanted, it was placed in the stone and the only person um, who could draw it out was, um, was actually the rightful king. Okay, and look at these roses here, these golden, golden flowers that we are seeing here for you. And then we have the four of swords. How interesting. Yes. Um, and can you see um, with the Four of Swords, this raft is flowing towards these castle gates here. And with this being guided by this bird, it's very interesting because traditionally the Four of Swords is a card of kind of, actually of peacefulness. I mean, that is what I would say. It's a card that carries great peace and it suggests, you know, that if we have been conflicted, there is a time now to get still, to meditate, the answers will come. This is like, go with the flow. You know, you can see this, this guy here is just like he's fishing, you know, he's taking his time. He's pretty chilled out. You know, there, there's a trust that this is gonna take them exactly where they need to go. They are being guided by this bird. How very, very interesting. I actually feel that there is something that I, I want to say that is rightfully yours, pile one, that is going to be coming to you. Now, when I say rightfully yours, what I, what I kind of mean by that is, it, it's almost like, I don't know, karma, it's yeah it's got a karmic feel to it i wanted to say destiny but it doesn't feel quite right it feels much more like it's karmic like you just because you deserve it you know when you you do the work i mean do you guys ever get to that point you know where you think you know come on universe come on angels i've done the work I've been working so solidly at this. Why, why has this not yet manifested for me? Why has this, I don't know, maybe this one thing or why am I still facing a challenge when, you know, actually I, I've done the work. Why am I going through something like this again? You know, that it's got that sort of feel to it. And you are being asked to just relax. You are, you really are being blessed. The new moon is bringing you the energy of good luck and great fortune. Very, very interesting as well, because this new moon has a real gentle energy about it, interestingly enough. Um, I say gentle, um, but it's kind of, the dynamics of it in, in, in itself are, you know, the overall astro dynamics are sort of saying, whatever you are feeling, slow down and let, let the universe show you what you need to see or let the universe open the doors for you. That's the kind of flavor of it, which is really, really interesting. So my beautiful pile one, your message is really clear. It's not telling me specifically what that blessing is for you. It could be, um, 
it could be material wealth, uh, it could be simply overcoming a challenge, it could be the love of your life, you know, but it really is, it's something that you deserve, it is your, um, it's not even an inheritance, it's not like that, it's not like an inheritance that you get just because you were born, this is something that is coming to you because you have overcome challenges already, you've done the work, I mean this is what, um, King Arthur had to do, overcome challenges. You have, you have done the work and this new moon is bringing you good luck and great fortune. You literally are being blessed. This is the big good luck and good fortune. And because of this um, card here, the Guide of Crystals, it's not just one thing that you are receiving. It is many blessings. It's like the whole of your life, the whole of your world, your dreams, the different things. I, I'm not seeing just one thing. I'm literally seeing um, you being offered, uh, offered what you want, what you desire. And look, you know, the Snow Shepherdess, and, and here we have um, Saint Nicholas bringing all these gifts and blessings, and here is the snow, and, and can you see the sun is rising here? This is a very beautiful reading. Um, all you are being asked is to just relax and continue on your pathway, beautiful souls. Relax and continue as you are, doing what you do, being your most brilliant self. Every day, just doing what you do to the very best of your ability, in a loving, gentle, kind, compassionate way, and whatever challenges you may still be facing, they will come to an end. Everything is being sorted out. You do not have to push to open doors or even to find the doors. They are going to be brought to you. Chill out, go fishing, relax, take it easy, live every day for the sake of living. You are being blessed, and whatever you desire to emerge, or to manifest, it will be coming to you. This is such an assurance and really telling you, you do not need to worry about this in the slightest. You will literally be jumping for joy. As we see this dolphin jumping out of the water here. Anchor to fly, be grounded, continue on your pathway and all is coming to you. Um, it, it is just, yeah, magical, magical energy, my beautiful souls. So Pile One, this is your reading. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And I am feeling very blessed to be in your energy. And I also need to say, just wholeheartedly, very honoured as well, because actually I really do see that the karmic flavour of this is because you've done the work. You've done the work. You've overcome the challenges. And now you deserve this. It's kind of that saying, isn't it? Because you're worth it. <laughs> And that's what's, um, if this was an individual reading for like one of the zodiac signs and I was looking, thinking, what will I title this? I would be saying, because you're worth it. That's what I would be saying. It's coming to you. Miracles are happening because you are worth it. You have done the work. You deserve it. Pile one, this is magical. Do, by the way, look out for... Um, do look out for the All Zodiac Sign readings. I'm loading them up this week. I have been working on these for the coming months because it's a very powerful moon month. And because of this, I have been really working um, quite diligently to, um, diligently, isn't that an interesting word to use? But yeah, that's what it, it's your energy. I think you have diligently paid attention. I'm sitting in your energy. I, you have diligently done the work. You face the challenges coming through and coming through me um yes so anyway i am it's quite an extraordinary uh, a very powerful month that we have coming up and so i am doing um readings for all zodiac signs and extended readings in patreon uh, where we are um doing a, a much deeper dive into money career finances and also relationships um so do watch out because i'll be posting those uploading those um throughout the week um as i as i edit them all and do them so beautiful souls i look forward to seeing you for another reading really Really, really soon thank you so so much for being here um i am wishing you so so much love hey pile two welcome to your reading you have the all-encompassing hand 
a gift being given to you. You have the rune of partnership and the blank rune, and you also have this beautiful butterfly and the tree of life. Now, the very first thing I'm going to do before we dive into anything to do with this card, although this is telling me a lot already about the good luck and great fortune coming to you with this new moon, what you are being blessed with, but ha, we have Angel of Adventure. We are drawing you a guardian angel card. Now, these come with okay a an affirmation and i'm actually going to read you the affirmation as well look at that it's opened right on the page affirmation i am completely protected and safe it is time to put the adventure and fun back into my life i acknowledge the angel of adventure will guide and encourage me along my journey of life okay how interesting now let us draw some more cards for you so we have I am actually feeling this one, moonlight. Okay, and look at this owl. And can you see there is an hourglass here? How interesting. And here we are asking what blessings, what good luck and great fortune is this new moon bringing for you? Okay, what I am seeing here and in all these cards is I feel like you are or have been, let's say you are, you have been, going through, I'm going to say a period of some kind of loneliness, a feeling of, of darkness. Now, I'm not suggesting that you are, you know, you may, you may be single, you may not, um, but something, some connection to relationship has been leaving you feeling lonely. It could be if you're in a relationship that somehow uh, the connection has felt as though it's dwindled. It really is time for that to change. This card is very associated, the all-encompassing hand, with a feeling of being lonely and of it's time for that to end. The angel of adventure is saying, look, it's time for you to set forth into life. And I'm seeing that there's been a dark side of the moon here, really. And the timing here, it is time for you to start afresh, to get back out into the world, maybe into... Um, into if you are single into dating into love into partnership connection may we have more cards please for our beautiful pile two so you are being blessed with something here now we have lady of laza descends oh my goodness me this is a beautiful energy look at her coming towards you wow look at her coming towards you how fascinating Okay, what else do we have? I may wish to place her here, I think, actually. She's coming towards you. Something is coming towards you. And then we have blessing to begin. Oh my, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Blessing to begin. So this new moon really is bringing you new beginnings and new beginnings particularly in your connections with people, with love, with friendship, with... Um, intimacy perhaps just getting back out into the world this new moon is really blessing you with an opportunity to begin i say an opportunity opportunities maybe as well but opportunity to begin afresh in some way and so if you are in an existing partnership and something has not been right that person is going to come towards you, come and offer you something, a reconciliation or invite you out, someone coming back into your life or someone new coming in. But there is an opportunity. So, something is going to be opened for you, a doorway, illuminated, to bring you out of a period of darkness, of loneliness, a sense of isolation in some part of your world. If something, maybe you're stuck in the wrong job or you're not sure what to do, but something is coming towards you to offer you a, a new beginning, literally giving you an opportunity to begin afresh. Yeah, I do feel, you know, whatever you have been desiring, if you've even been procrastinating, time to stop. With the tree of life as well, I, I do feel we're talking about something significant. 
a, a big something in your life, not just a little something, but a big something, something that can really grow. And with the butterfly of transformation, um, it's it's like emerging, you know, from that chrysalis state where maybe you have needed to retreat, to recover. Um, but whatever has kept you in this sort of state of I'm going to say semi-darkness, but in the shadows or not feeling as if you have quite the energy to move forwards. This is changing. This is changing. Let's get more information, please, for pile two. May we have more inf information, especially about, you know, what is Lady of Laza descent? I'm really seeing someone coming towards you. So I'm seeing these. Ah, there are three cards there. So we will have all three. Um interesting let's shuffle again no i am seeing this one that is the one for you let us do this and see so look at this look at the way i, I find this so interesting i mean they're very different imagery but look at this mother mother goose now this is actually the empress in a traditional pack but look at the way she's flying in on a goose with a basket full of eggs someone is coming in and giving you a gift something that you can then nurture. It creates a new beginning. You can then nurture it and it will flourish. It's a new adventure. It's a new opportunity. Okay, what else do we have? Cinderella, ah, oh, look at this, this is so beautiful. I mean, again, look at this gift being brought in. And of course, this is what happened to Cinderella. You know, she was living in poverty. She was living um, in, you know, complete lack, actually, um, amidst, a, you know, a family of people who were not nice to her and not kind to her. What was rightfully hers had been um, stolen and taken away. And, and then all of a sudden she is gifted. She is blessed. And, you know, look at this blessings coming in. You know, she wanted to go to the ball. And so you know, her clothes are, are magically given to her so she can go. How interesting. We then have the card of Sleeping Beauty. Ah, and then the wizard. How fat, how fascinating. So Sleeping Beauty, right? isn't this interesting? Your story is about to change. Again, I'm seeing, look, someone coming in with like, like magic, as if by magic. Something that can wake you up out of your, your deep sleep. If, if you have literally, you know how sometimes when you have a run of stuff that doesn't go well and you kind of wonder, God, am I jinxed? Uh, you know, am I, I won't say cursed, but you know, sometimes these things go through our mind when we think nothing is moving forwards or the thing that I really wish to manifest just isn't happening. You know, what's going on? What's happening? Why has this gone wrong? You know, or why, is, why isn't it happening? Or, you know, whatever that sense of isolation, um, being detached from um, either the world or something you really want, you're being gifted here, absolutely gifted. Something is going to come along and wake you up. Now, I did say partnership, potentially. And look at this, we have the wizard. I mean, this is a, an image of Gandalf from Lord of the Rings, actually, with, um, we have uh, the little hobbit here with the ring. But of course, it's the ring is the ring of everything, isn't it? It's also the ring of invisibility. Ah, yes. This, this ring, yeah, it was a ring that could create invisibility and then um, but also, uh, everybody wanted this ring. Everybody wanted this ring. Um, it contained so much power. How interesting. What are we being shown here for you, uh, my beautiful pile two? I feel like you are coming out of a phase of invisibility where you have not felt seen or heard or appreciated or loved. Perhaps you have had a difficult relationship. There's definitely an element of partnership coming through here, both in the all-encompassing hand. This connects sometimes to relationships and also this. It could be a working scenario for some of you. It's a general reading. But whatever it is, you've been feeling unappreciated, invisible, distant, separate, not cared for. Now, something is coming along to change that. This new moon, the, the good luck and the great fortune that this new moon is bringing you is an opportunity. 
something is i mean we're seeing some every card is saying to you you're going to be gifted with something you know we see uh, mother goose flying in we see this uh, unicorn coming in with um sprinkling magic over you we see waking you up here we see um, these beautiful birds bringing in that beautiful dress and that means you go to the ball and because you go to the ball you meet your prince you know it's that kind of thing I'm being non-gender specific but just portraying the stories that we're being shown here yeah it is not a time for you to be invisible anymore look at this Gandalf pointing this is not a time for you you cannot be invisible anymore this is not the time to remain in retreat uh, this is the time to begin to be seen can you see here as well um, now I just saw a little tiny owl where did I see that owl how interesting so we have an owl here I am noticing and I literally just caught sight of a teensy owl. And do you know, isn't that interesting that I thought to myself, oh, I haven't seen that before. I haven't noticed that. And do you know, now I cannot actually see it. How bizarre. That is so interesting. There it is. Look at that right at the top. Do you know, it, it had come into my vision, you know, and then suddenly I couldn't see it anymore. There is the owl just sitting quietly at the top here of the number five. Now, yeah, you have not been visible. You have definitely been in the shadows. There is no question of it. The time now is absolutely perfectly right for you to emerge, to come. Somebody is giving you something. We're seeing opportunities here. Now, what is interesting with the angel of adventure? Yeah, with, with the card here with Gandalf and the ring, I, I do feel and this owl that I, I saw and then I lost sight of it. Whatever is coming to you, it's going to give you visibility. Okay. Angel of adventure. Which is very, very interesting. So clearly this is a general reading. Whatever invitation, offer, gift is given to you. It is bringing you visibility. It's bringing you out of the shadows, out of either isolation or aloneness or retreat. So if it is a working area, it may be that you are offered an opportunity to speak at an event. If it is personal, you may be invited to a party. Yeah, if you have been not feeling connected to you haven't found your tribe um you may be invited to join something that would resonate with um with kind of yeah with something that is of great interest to you one way or the other you are going to be given some sort of gift of connection and partnership and relationship whether this is to do with your working world or whether it is to do with um, your personal world, your love life. Pile two, the gift that and the great fortune, the good luck and great fortune that this uh, new moon is bringing to you is the gift of partnership, of connection, of relationship. And it is loaded with possibility with the blank rune. Absolutely loaded with possibility. This will be life transforming for you. This is the doorway opening to begin afresh. So my beautiful pile two, without any shadow of a doubt, this is a someone, a connection to some form of partnership, whether working, friendship, love, intimacy, absolutely. And it will arrive in the form of an invitation that means you go out into the world it feels like a new adventure a new opportunity however this arrives that is how it is coming to you in the form of an invitation to go out and do something this is not like a chance meeting in a supermarket this is a definite invitation um, to get out there and 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 be seen in some way so it is like a, a social event or a public event there is something coming your way and, and that is where you are going to meet this connection um, and, and a more 
individual one-on-one -on -one connection that has profound possibilities um, and long-term possibilities for something to grow and emerge, whether this is in love or work or whatever area of your life that is. But this is the blessing, the good luck and the great fortune that this new moon is bringing to you. It's very, very specific reading, which is unusual for a, a general reading. I can't know exactly what that invitation is or indeed um, specifically as it were uh, you know because I'm, I do not know as well whether this is for you an intimate partnership um, or it is a working relationship but it is actually a very specific reading in terms of what the invitation the kind of settings that it might be in and the fact that it is about partnership about relationship partnership um, with significant a significant uh, long-term future my beautiful souls this is your reading thank you so 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 much for joining me today um, it's a joy to read for you. you this is a fabulous reading i am loving it and i wish you every blessing truly in this um, new opportunity that is um, coming into your world literally coming into you um, so my beautiful souls i am thrilled for you i truly am I really, really am. Um, I am at the moment, if you are watching this as I post this, um, I am um, currently this week uploading big uh, zodiac, all zodiac sign readings. So do watch out for those. Um, usually I just post them on Patreon, but because we have a moon month of actually profound opportunity, um, I have created, um, or I am doing readings, I've created a moon month forecast as always. And I'm doing big readings for all signs here on YouTube and then extended readings on uh, Patreon where we do a real deep dive into money, career and finances and then a second reading for relationships. So do watch out for those readings, <coughs> excuse me, as I post them. Beautiful souls, thank you so, so much for being here. Tons and tons and tons of love. Um, do um, give me the thumbs up and do um, like, share, subscribe if you would like to get notification of any of my readings as soon as I post them. Tons and tons of love to you, beautiful souls. Hey, pile three, welcome to your reading. You have the victory of Mariam or Mariam. I'm not sure how that is supposed to be pronounced. So I do apologize if I'm not actually getting that quite right. This is a very an interesting energy around your reading already, my beautiful souls. Now we are asking what good luck and great fortune is this new moon bringing for you? So the first card I am draw, drawing for you, look at this, Angels of the Universe. This is so in tune with what I was already thinking just from these cards and your charms and your runes. Now, this is a pack that actually has affirmations. So I am actually going to read you the affirmation for this card before we then draw more for you. But this is really, really powerful um, for you in terms of the good luck and great fortune that is being brought to you. Let me read you the affirmation, please, first of all. So we are, let me find that for you. Okay, 35 angels of the universe. Affirmation, I gratefully accept the assistance from the angels of the universe. I know that I am here for a reason and that they will help me find my purpose. Okay, now what good luck and great fortune is bringing for you? It is certainly an opening, a breakthrough moment. Okay, I'm not going to say any more just yet, um, but I do feel there will be a gateway for you to step through, a turning point. Now we have a spark as your first um, your first card here. How interesting it is. Like I, I'm hearing like, you know, when you put a uh, a spark, is it, what's the saying? Is it like a spark to a, a, spark to a, a fire or a, sp a match to a spark? Or, there is a saying and I can't quite think what it is. Um, a spark to your flame, but something is about to be ignited for you. Yeah, something, I mean, we have Cupid's arrow. Whatever this is for you, something is being fired and there will be a spark, a turning point, uh, an opening, a gateway to walk through. Let's draw more cards for you, beautiful souls, and see what else we are shown. May we have information for our beautiful pile three, please. May we have information. I'm seeing this card as well for you. 
Okay, Blue Mother, Yellow Mountain, Gibbous Moon. How interesting. And then we have, I mean, look at the way this horizon is lit up. Like you can see where you're going. There will be no need to look back. Look at the way she proceeds. Yeah, you can see it's like this golden horizon. And then her joy renders the impossible task possible. <laughs> okay, wow is what I'm going to say to you. Uh, pile three, it's a biggie. This is a biggie. Okay, you are being given it. There, there is going to be a gateway for you, a gateway to, to or the way will be shown or um, there is a breakthrough moment, an idea comes to you, something is arrives if, if it is love the cupid's arrow arrives and your world is transformed it is very interesting you know the sand dollar um, is a charm that speaks of strength and flexibility and freedom and choosing your own pathway and we have the rune of flow lagos everything flowing into being the rune of gateway yes something is coming in your world that will it will give you a, a clear direction, okay? It's like you'll know where you're going. Something is landing for you that will ignite you and you will know where you want to go if you are feeling directionless or uncertain as to whether something you are following is the right pathway or not. You will have such clarity, it is untrue, such clarity of vision with the owl here. Yes, you will absolutely see exactly the direction you are meant to be going in. If you have any uncertainty around your calling or your purpose, certainly for this next chapter of your life, you are going to know exactly that what this is. And my goodness me, it's going to fire you up. That spark will come. Let us... Let us draw more cards for you. May we have more information? What is this spark, this opening? Ha, huh, Sleeping Beauty. Look at these sparks, little sparkles, this magic being sprinkled to wake you up, bring you out of a deep sleep or a, a period of time where you have not been able to know what your pathway is, to, to know what choice to make if you're facing choices. This is the breakthrough moment. This is the breakthrough moment, but it's a biggie. That's all I can say to you, my beautiful pile threes. This is a biggie. Okay, we have the four of hearts. I'm actually seeing, I am seeing this card and actually this one too. Hmm. Okay, so four of hearts. And then we have the six of crystals. Look at this, um, this climbing of the mountain. And then we have child of crystals. This is Huckleberry Finn. How very interesting. Huckleberry Finn found treasure. He found treasure. And I think because he was, this is the story of this card. He found treasure and because he was um, like a, a child, a minor, you know, he couldn't be given the, the full wealth um, in one go because uh, it would be like, um, I mean, obviously you can't do things like the lottery if you're a child, you have to be over 18, but it would be the equivalent of a child winning the lottery or something like that or inheriting something and then it's put into trust for them because they're too young. And then, but what, what was happened was that he was then given um, the quantities of money because he had found this treasure he was given the quantities of money um, so that he would always have enough. His needs would always be taken care of, always be taken care of. So, um, you know, he is relaxing here, fishing. What I feel is you have been fishing for an idea or a, it's like you're calling your purpose or the next chapter or maybe there have been more than one choice available to you but none of them have felt really quite right you've kind of been fishing this new moon this good luck and great fortune is actually bringing you the breakthrough the the direction that ah the aha moment that's the treasure that's the horizon 
you know, that's the destination I wish to get to. It's, it's going to become clear. One of the great blessings, the good fortune um, and good luck coming to you is going to be clarity. Clarity of purpose, clarity of direction, knowing where you are going. And it is very interesting, even with the, the Four of Hearts, which is traditionally the Four of Cups. I mean, this is a card of disappointment, of, of broken hearts, of something not working out. You can see, you know, the boat has <laughs> the boat has, has broken and is sinking and, and the mermaid is just sitting on a, I guess, the mast maybe even, or holding the mast, you know. And, and yet here we have these other beautiful um mermaids coming in um with riding riding the dolphins and the energy of the turtle here bringing in um bringing in good fortune you know that they say i know this is the four of the four of hearts but we have three dolphins here you know there is a saying that good luck comes in threes or that events come in threes. Sometimes, actually, I've also heard people say everything happens in threes. Um, a friend of mine said it the other day. She said, I can't believe it. My washing machine broke down. Then I got a flat tire. She said, there'll be something else because everything comes in threes. And okay, those were kind of like hiccups and negatives. But actually, um, I am seeing three separate blessings, three opportunities, three elements coming in to you three potentials, three possibilities, or three events that lead you to this uh, breakthrough point. Or it could, for some of you, be three different areas of life. If, for example, you are in the process of moving house and you are looking for love and you are also questioning a decision at work, there will be all three areas will, will now be good fortune and good luck will be coming to all those three areas. There will be the breakthrough moment. You know, maybe you will um, be given a new posting to a different area that will then make it clear as to what um, geographical location you need to move to and then when you get there you meet uh, the love of your life <laughs> you know it's like all these different things fall into place but I'm seeing three being an important number you, it, you may know what that is for you um, that number may be resonating with you already and that three is going to double because then we have the six of crystals here climbing to the top of the mountain and there is the snowflake it's very interesting in um, native uh, traditions native american stories the the snow a snowflake because uh, every snowflake is different every i mean we we actually know this from looking through microscopes that every single snowflake is unique it is like uh, like we have our our fingerprints if you take your fingerprints, and obviously this has been used in criminology and things, every it's why they take fingerprints, because if you leave, if you touch something and you leave your fingerprint, you know, there is the evidence that you've been there. Your fingerprints are completely unique to you. Every snowflake is completely unique. It's different. There is no two snowflakes the same. And in Native uh, American traditions, there is a story of the snowflakes um, are the keepers of dreams. The snowflakes, each snowflake is, you know, when you are sleeping and you are dreaming, and this could be sleeping in your sleep sleep and dreaming, or it could be when you are in an asleep state, which is also what this card speaks of, you know, when we are not fully uh, awake or available to, or our dreams, we have our dreams, but they are almost like in a, a sleeping state. They haven't yet emerged, they haven't manifested. That's what I want to say. So these snowflakes, when they, they haven't yet emerged, they haven't yet manifested. And the snowflakes are the keepers of those dreams, of your wishes. And of course, new moons are associated with wishes and intentions. I suspect that you have been wishing, if you work with the moon, you have probably been wishing on the new moon for something for some time, maybe even more than one thing. But this snowflake is the keeper of your dreams. And what the snowflakes say is that when they uh, they land, they, they freeze and, and they hold your dream safe. And then when, uh, when they melt, that is when your dream is then come true. It's like their purpose, which is what your reading is about, clarity of purpose, your, their purpose, their, 
their destiny, their purpose is to carry um, is to carry your dreams, our dreams, individually, like our unique fingerprints. And each snowflake is somebody's dream, somebody's unique personal dream. And when that snowflake melts, its purpose is, is, is done. You know, so there's no sadness at the snowflake melting um, because it served its purpose and it will come back round and then carry other dreams, another dream for somebody else somewhere else. So it's, it's really beautiful anyway. But this is a dream come true. This is a dream come true. Something that you has been so hard for you to climb up the mountain to find. Um, clarity of direction, purpose, knowing that what you desire is coming to you, the breakthrough point, stepping through the gateway. This is what is happening, you know, the spark card as well. Now it is very interesting because in a way, I, I kind of almost feel like I really, really, really want to kind of give you more information, but I'm also very conscious, you know, with the spark card that it actually says, you know, inspiration will come to you that spark will ignite something in you. And so in a way, this breakthrough moment, it's so unique and individual to you because of this snowflake. It's so personal to you that a, a reading, even a personal reading could not give you this piece of information because this piece of information is, is literally going to come to you. It's going to be shown to you. It may well come on the day of the new moon or certainly within this uh, moon month, I think. Yeah, your clarity, th this is the gift. This is the good luck and great fortune. And I do think in potentially three different areas of your life but I feel like they're interconnected. They are sitting here together, swimming in together. It is one of those scenarios where that moment of inspiration, that spark, that clarity of direction, the gateway being given to you leads to more than one dream coming true. It is like a uh, Huckleberry Finn finding the treasure and then that treasure is uh, divided and then given to him in pockets all along the way. So he never ever has to go without there is never any lack, ever, ever, ever. My beautiful pile three, um, I, I feel this is your reading. Um, I don't think I can give you any more information, only that the breakthrough is coming. This is the good luck and great fortune that the new moon is bringing you. Clarity of direction, knowing where exactly where you are going and, and therefore blessing after blessing coming to you and very, three very specific areas of your life that are going to change because of this gateway, this opening. They're going to flow into existence. It's interesting, the rune of Lagos flow. You know, this rune, it does, um, it speaks of the ebb and flow of relationships, the ebb and flow of uh, careers, you know, the ebb and flow of emotions and so so it really does affect those different areas of our lives flowing into being and you're going to love this with the heart here but yeah the arrow will land you will see where you are going it will be uh, there will be a sense of liberation and freedom um because there is a real sense of purpose in in your reading pile three there really really is so my beautiful souls just connecting in with the moon month um, I, I feel this is your reading. I have done a, a moon forecast for the month, so do check that out. And I am currently uploading uh, big readings for this moon month for all zodiac signs. Usually they are on Patreon um, because it's, it is actually um, astrologically a really big month. So I am uh, uploading individual readings for all zodiac signs here. And also then on Patreon, we are doing extended readings where we are doing a, a big, much deeper dive into detailed information about money, career, finances, and then a second reading as well about relationships. So do check those out. I am uploading them um, all this week if you are watching this as I've posted it. And if you're coming to this a little later, then just check out the channel. They are there. Um, and, um, you know, do, do check them out, Super Soul because it's the moon month that I think is particularly relevant to you in terms of these opportunities, this gateway, uh, this spark, this idea coming to you. My beautiful souls, I, I am absolutely um, 
kind of blown away by the opportunity, the shift, the turning point for you. It is magnificent. Super souls, I'm sending you the biggest hugs in the world. I'm thrilled for you. I am wishing you every blessing in more than one area of your life. One area I believe will lead to another and to another. And, you know, I do, yeah, do post in the comments as the month progresses. Keep us posted as things unfold for you. And, um, you know, we would really, really love to hear from you. Beautiful songs, sending you so much love. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in another reading soon.